After a long wait, Meta's new hardware has released. The Quest 3 had finally had its long-awaited launch, and with that, we got in lots of hardware upgrades and visual improvements from its ancestor, the Quest 2. Lots of games have and are getting upgrades to stand the capability of this headset, and one of these many games is Gorilla Attack. Which is why today, I will not only review and unbox this headset, but I will also review and play Gorilla Tag on the Quest 3. Stay tuned to see what happens. Alright, here we have it. So you can see, it be going nice. I'm sorry if I'm low on energy, but I'm currently sick. I'm one-handed, so I'm just gonna karate chop this and make a cool transition, and then I'll be unboxed. Oh my god, it worked. Alright, let's open this up. Yeah, it looks insane, dude. Look at that. Dude, let's just look mad clean. Let me see, let me see the controllers. Dude, they're mad small, dude. They're literally so freaking small. Oh my goodness. Anything you wanna say? Okay, this is my first hands-on review on the Oculus Quest 3 headset. I am currently in it right now, if you haven't noticed, because I don't have a camera mod on me right now. So out of the box, the headset looked beautiful, as you saw in my epic unboxing. And the setup was pretty easy. It was not similar to the Oculus Quest 3. It was not similar to the Oculus Quest 2 setup. It was kind of different in some ways. As of the headset, I haven't tried out everything on it yet but I can already tell that it's going to be a great headset I mean clearly if Gorilla looks this great I can already just imagine the other sorts of things this headset could do and as of Gorilla Tag like I said just now it looks absolutely great I mean the graphics are sure a huge upgrade from the Quest 2's graphics and of course the headset can run on 120 FPS this on step -up. You don't need side quests, you don't need to have developer mode, it can just run 120 FPS. And it could probably run more in a future update, who knows. You guys might not notice a difference, because this is only a recording. But if you can get your hands on this headset, I, would, I can tell you right now, just go for it. It's worth the upgrade, and it's insane. But there's only one issue with this. The head trap, it's so freaking bad. You don't know how uncomfortable the standalone head, head trap is. I mean, if you're gonna get this head trap, make sure you get a custom head trap with it. It could be third party or it could be from Meta. I would recommend a third party head trap. To be specific, you should get the Bobo VR M3 Pro, which is coming out today, actually. You should definitely pre order that if you already got your headset. Because the standalone head trap is so bad, bro. You don't know how much headaches I get from it. But uh, anything else, I really don't have problems with anything else except for the head trap. But everything is so freaking insane. I love the headset. 